Hello, and welcome aboard Whale Pod to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm your Captain Whale, and today we have Valdi back in the party, standing outside the gates to call only 30, because we're going to be finishing off the Doric storyline today. Hey, Ritz, what do you have to say to us? The Nopon are saying the commander's trying to find a way to make Autolevs listen to us. He's got a whole different way of thinking, that guy. Hey, Rapapo, what do we need for this next phase? Or is this a phase? Phase 9 is live combat test of Doric. This historic moment, so you allowed to observe with Valdi. Test can be seen at Terra Wasteland outside Colony 30. We wait for you. Doric is online, accepted. And Doric is gone from there. I forgot we did do the last few things of Doric sooner. We'll gather some information while we're here. Curiosity about origin, or oh, one of one. Interesting news. Now. There is a sneaky little way to get to the wasteland through here. I'm going to show it off. Watch your footing, guys. Down through here, past these pitifully weak skeeters. I have dropped us down to a level 70 because... Yeah, Dork is online, is even lower than I thought it would be. But we're going to stay at 70. Because while I looked it up and we're at the end of this line, going to have to fight a level 70 Dork. So that's why we're 70. We are out of the blind portion of this Let's Play. The post game will be using all information necessary to make things go as smoothly as possible. And just a little leap down there, and at the expense of your knees, you're at the Terra Wasteland. Hey, Rapapa. Whoa. It's amazing when you really look at it. Rapapa, show more big surprise things. Mecha friend, start Doric. Test is begin. A buddy blaster, fire. What the? Did it just attack those Levenuses? What Doric possesses is not regular running the mill weapon. It is also high frequency a device to access auto lev control system. Small world version. Doric can make friends with Levenuses. You see, the way it works is by applying RoboBuddy's data to interfere with the ether signaling. I'll just assume that's something clever. Correct! This laser was made with the intention of altering the ether signaling circuits of autolevs. But when they read our iris data, they saw us as allies. Changing the system means you can rewrite the aggression program, so if you take Mecha Friend's signal... Ah. Uh, do you get it? Meh? Um... Hmm, I don't- I don't think it's gone in. 
it not to seem usable in combat. Meh. It only work with one nearby Levness. Is distance problem or number of target? Have to research. And the Buddy Blaster, new topic available to discuss. Now... We'll just head straight back to the Colony 30. Uh, nope, wrong again. You see, this is why I just wish uh, all the different game console companies would get together and agree to a uniform button layout. No, we're not going to grab something, Baldi. Nope, not that. That's exactly what we said we weren't going to do. But it's what I'm used to at these camps, because lately I've just been uh, discussing or getting the Agnes Castle meal to boost class point uh, acquisition rates. Could you all come around for a second? So, Chief, how how do you think we can improve the Buddy Blaster? That outside area of expertise of Riku. Ah, uh, if you can't help, who can I ask? I guess a mechanic who knows a lot about a lot of stuff? You could always bring it to the Colony Lambda's engineering core. Varen could po probably give some useful insight. What about the people in the city? They've got a lot of technology we don't have. Maybe Mr. Salmon could help. The folks over at Colony Iota could be useful and all. There was that time we had our irises meddled with and our authorization revoked. By Salazar, yeah, that was a wild ride. Oh yeah, plenty of options then. Let's go and consult with some of those people then. Let's get on the road, Chief. Meh. And there we go. Let's move out. We can now go and there's uh, Salazar, Varen, and Salmon now around. We're going to start with Salazar. Yeah, big monkey grave. Just thought I'd point that out. I had a base entrance. And head right back outside the base to where Salazar's weirdo person hideout is. Buddy Blaster, hee <laughs> hee, now that sounds like my idea of a good time. It is, fancy joining forces on it. Meep, I would, but I'm in the middle of some pretty delicate research right now. Oh, oh but you can have this instead of me. Salazar's special rations, distilled with the hopes and dreams of every soldier, I like to call it. Valdi, we're leaving. Yep, get out of here before the nut starts cracking more. Pentalus region, next stop, Colony Lambda. Cave mouth time. A hey game, quit making us sad by showing us that grayed out dead Ethel icon. We should be able to find Varen in maintenance. I've got to ask him what makes those Agni and Levinus's tick. Now that's an interesting concept for a weapon. Isn't it, though? Let's work on it together. I'm definitely intrigued, and I'd love to collaborate with you on this, but I'm rammed with work right now. Oh, shame. Maybe next time, then. All the best of it, mate. Right. Looks like Salmon's our uh, ticket to success. Salmon is a quite agreeable fish.
And it's a good thing we uh, cleared up that business with the origin shards before this because I would not have liked to have to go through the origin shards to be able to continue doing this. Maybe we'll find Mr. Salmon over at maintenance. We I'm thinking, though, we will have to do a Soul Hunters 2 episode here soon. Where we round up all the remaining non-Super Boss unique monsters. Salmon C. He wants to improve practicality of Buddy Blaster thingamajig. Can you do it? Salmon not able to say without see real thing. Okay, I'll bring the Buddy Blaster here. It very large, Salmon assume. Would be difficult to bring. But Salmon too busy for visit Colony 30. Boo. How about this? Salmon lend you friend of Salmon. Shino can be of help for you. Can find Shino in Estelle Harbor. Salmon will send informations. Estelle Harbor is in the Cadenzia region full. All the way back here. Wait, is Estelle Harbor in the city? I thought Estelle Harbor was down here. I do not know my way around, or at least the names around the city that well. Ah oh, yes, Estelle Harbor. There it is. Literally right across from where Salmon was. No need to lead the read to leave the region. Hey, Shino, you got time, apparently. Wait, you're... Ah, it's you. I heard the, ho uh, the whole story from Salmon. So, can you help me improve the Buddy Blaster? But of course, I haven't been able to do anything like this in ages. Should be a lot of fun. Going by what I heard, I'd say the problem is the structure of the weapon. The laser diffuses quite a bit. What if we concentrate the beam? If you have a, a dowdy armor kernel and a gloss reactor, I can make some adjustments. Okay, I'll, I'll get those for you. I like that enthusiasm. I'll go ahead to Colony 30. Oof, my back. Are you okay? Doesn't getting older make it harder to move? Look after yourself. Aren't you a dear? My son's 11 is pilot, so I don't worry. He'll drop me off. I'll see you all later then. Now we go to uh, Fornus region full. Aha, over here by where Doric was online. Hmm. Turkin headquarters is probably going to be faster. Particularly since we are so high a level, none of these Turkin are going to mind that we're nosing around their headquarters. And we're at the Turkin headquarters. Quick jog back this way, no climbing involved. And we will be at the site of the Doric test. And Turkin seasoning, I will stress once again, is seasoning made by Turkin, not seasoning for cooking Turkin. And I have no idea how this container escaped me all the way back then. It does appear to be a colony container, so it's going to be mostly useless to us now. Yep, just plain old gemstones.
And let's talk to Shino. Okay, so we're handing over... Another one of these fill-in-the-blanks things here. More than enough to fill it up completely. Shino, look what we've got for you. Thank you very much. Now you leave the rest to me. And that's all nice and calibrated. Meh meh, second test start. Buddy Blaster, fire! How did it go? Oh. How did it go? Oh, it's success! It looks like the output is a bit stronger now. Quite a few places are glowing. There's this one little tweak left to do, Shino. Ah, yes. Let's swap out the Buddy Blaster's parts. I'm really sorry. Could you get me a three-fold transistor and a bullet screen? Can do! Come on, lands. Yes, sir! We have probably more than enough. Bullet screen and three-fold transistor is 30%. The shiny rose purple pepper and two gold condensers, or 362, is 15%. The prehistoric conductor is one revenant automaton and 10 assembly conductors. That one is 20%. Try winter spring seed is two three-fold transistors, three winter agate, four spring cedar, and six scissor piece seeds. That is 30%. Oh, and this is one bullet screen and four threefold transistors. And these two are definitely the highest percentage wise. Shino, we got the stuff. Oh, thank you. Leave the rest to me. And that should be that. Meh meh, third test start. Buddy Blaster, fire! And... It friend with Doric! That means it worked, right? Meh meh, big success! Yes, yes, we did it! Just a little more work and you'll be perfect, Doric. You'll be a big, strong, kind Levness to protect everyone. Thank you all for your help so far. Anytime. Now, Doric Construction, move to phase 10. Only thing left is hard work of Rapapa and team for final adjustment. I'm quite invested now, dears, so I'd like to stay here till the end if that's alright. That would be great. Rapapa, make finish in, in time of blink. Assuming we have the right stuff to give him. Looking forward to it. Yeah, and ha have fun and good luck. Quest complete. Dork is online. Zero experience. 1840 gold and three soul points. And a charm bangle. The soul points are, of course, surplus. We have all the soul we need. We do not have a question mark in Colony 30 yet. So let's go, around, go back and investigate around a, a thing or three. Hey, Rapapa. We'll need a good color for Dirk's chassis. 
Finally, Monster Levness Project of Doric complete. We did all we could to help. Unique special Levness, unique and special for both Agnes and Kevis. Creation of mighty Levness, all thanks to liberation from flame clocks. That allow everyone to cooperate on Levness creating. Meh, Rapapa overcome with emotion, tears making fluffy clammy. Hey, Zuza. Zuza has been working pretty hard thanks to the to this ether shortage. Ah, Zuza, you're always looking out for Yuza, aren't you? Well, yeah. I mean, if it wasn't for Yuza, I don't think Colony Thirty would even be here. Until it's time for his homecoming, I'm going to look out for him with all the power I have at my disposal. That's a uh, dedication. Let's continue looking around. Aaron here. More information over there. Stealing Agnes's very own autolev tech for ourselves. What an idea. If they'd have continued the war, Colony 30's battle performance would have been off the charts. But no, the commander did this precisely because We've stopped fighting, didn't he? Just forget what I said, okay? Something smells tasty. Information over here. Dork complete. That's what we were looking for. I'm starved. Let's grab some. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Absolutely not, Valdi. We're just going to discuss Dork's completion. Let's lay out the facts. Valdi, mate, you look like the Ferris that got the cream. <laughs> That's because Doric is finally complete. What? Only just? I'm so pleased for you. Yep. Rapapa's going to orchestrate the grand unveiling. He's truly chuffed. You're going to be there too, right? You helped so much salvaging materials. Yeah, sure. Nice, okay. He said the unveiling would take place in the Terra Wastelands. We'll be there. Can't wait to see Doric strutting his stuff at last. The final cog accepted. Break time's over. Head back to the Terra Wastelands. <gasps> we'll, uh... Do our same. That's going to be up on the Raybell Table Land level, so that is very dangerous. Head to Turkin Headquarters and then head backwards, plan. Huh. Oh man, they've really gone and done it now. Huh. Uh, more Turkin goodies to pick up. Hey, that's not your everyday jump. Not seasoning as many Turkins this time as we were on the last trip. Once again, it's not... It's not a seasoning for use on Turkins. It's seasoning made by Turkins. Here I am. Valdi. Start is soon. Yep. Good luck, Mecha friend. Thanks to everyone's hard work, Doric is complete at last. I want to thank you all for everything you've done. And I'm chuffed at how many friends I've made along the way. 
I hope Dora can make just as many. Let's see how he, let's see how he does, shall we? Yes, buddy blaster ready. And fire. Wow! I think it worked. Doric? Gah! Watch out! But how? Is Doric out of control? Everyone evacuate! Mecha friend? Mecha friend, what's going on? How could this happen? Everyone who was here was a friend! Mecha friend, stop! Go ho ho ho! Finally this day come! You! Pulley pulley! It not matter of own. It not matter now what you say! Mecha friend is not friend of friend anymore! Meh meh meh! What you done to Mecha friend? Pulley pulley only makes small adjustments to system! Now is pulley pulley friend! The genius of pulley pulley is capable of do anything! Pulley pulley defeat you and bring joy to Alexandria! Polly Polly start pulled string behind scene to plan this for a long time. He hadn't given up on his lunacy after all. Pretty sure Alexandria never asked for any of this. You lot cast Polly Polly aside and become such good good friends of Alexandria. Even though Polly Polly works so hard. Polly Polly not let you get away with this. Only Polly Polly allowed to be friend of Alexandria. We have Polly Polly, uh, who is the absolute, absolute worst over here right now. And we're going to focus down these armadillos first. Break it into a million pieces there with that hammerhead flashback combo. A little premature on that talent art there, unfortunately. And a little late on that launch. Let's, uh, deal with the last of these armadillos. Dork's all this left now, and we're gonna style on him a bit. Resisting the break, unfortunately. But only resisted. Seems like we will be able to knock Doric down to his knees. Still resisting the break. Oh, we're technically to the front of Doric still right now. This should help with our break ratio. Let's show them what 
High voltage and shadow eye. Let's, uh... Now we got the break on him. We're gonna go to lands here and... See if we can't get a, a launch off on Doric here. We're not gonna get it. Now, chain attack time. We're gonna launch Doric sky high here. And Valdi. One ninety one Bravo there. Check out my special attack. No and tie on back. Lightning quick this time around. Let's see, who's got a smash on him? Okay, Uni's got a no smash. Mio and Seno are, are both gonna have smash available to him. So we're gonna go... Keep everyone topped up here and top us up on our percentage. Mio get us that Bravo. Hopefully Valdi comes back online here. Valdi back in action here. Tie on. You're gonna oh wait, we we use a defender. We were guaranteed to get Valdi back. So we're gonna. We're gonna do this with two characters here. Get a two character amazing. Give everyone a power charge. That's gonna get everyone back for either Uni or Noah. For uni. Actually, I don't think Noah got back for that one. Of course, it resisted the ether down, de the ether defense down debuff. What else are debuffs for other than to be resisted? Now let's, uh, lands and tie on here because might as well. We're going to get an Ouroboros and everyone back in action. And Valdi get us that nice plus 50 TP against a machine. And bring us into the overkill, Uni. Full Metal Jaguar has quite the powerful chain attack finisher as well. And we're gonna get Grand Design here. Okay. 
We're just gonna go straight for the smash. Off of Mio. Lance. Tie on. Now this is the question. Do we go for the big number or oh we go for no, we go for bigger damage. Valdi would have gotten us the amazing, yes, but Noah's just, well, bigger damage in general. $1.34 million damage on Doric there. Becca, friend. Are you okay? I think Mecha friend protected him from the worst of the blast. But Mecha friend doesn't look too good. The dork also entirely broken. <sighs> oh. You you helped me so many times, Mecha friend. So I I I won't let it end like this. I'll give you a hand with Doric, too. Lands. We'll help, too, Commander. Yeah, if we leave it to you, I'm sure it's just a matter of time before everything gets out of hand. Thanks, guys. And just where do you think you're going? Alexandria! Uh, no. Meh, Alexandria! Isn't there someone you have to say something to? Yeah, you owe Valdi an apology. Meh, meh. Meh, Polly Polly refuse! Polly Polly try and try, but it did not go right. Alexandria only like Valdi and others. Polly Polly wish Polly Polly just disappear. Meh, meh, meh. Hey, Polly Polly. You aren't hurt, are you? Meh. You only wanted to be friends with everyone, didn't you? But you can't do it that way. Someone could get hurt. What Valdi know? Polly Polly is nobody. That's why nobody take notice of Polly Polly. If Polly Polly not work hard. I took notice. Meh. I mean, your methods were not particularly great, but you're pretty good with Elevness. You're not a nobody, you're valuable. You're just your own worst enemy. Meh. But Poli Poli only do failures, Valdi not angry. I mess things up all the time. Look at what happened this time, and I've broken Mecha Friend more times than I can count. But, you know, failures always come with an afterwards. I got to build Doric. I got to make a lot of friends. I can do a lot more than I could before thanks to everyone's help. That's all connected to what's happening now. Failure teaches you things. So I don't want you to give up, Pulley Pulley. Valdi. Let's try again. I want to build a world where people and Levenuses can live in harmony. But it'll take a long time if I try to do it alone. 
It'd be a lot easier if you... if you'd help me out, would you? Ah, <laughs> good. There's still plenty more I can do. And with the rest of you helping, we can aim even higher. Okay, first order of business is fixing up Mecha Friend. Time to pick up all those parts, people. Quest complete, the final cog, zero experience, 2950 gold, and three soul points. Now, the soul points are, of course, surpluses, as always. I see some relations have changed. And that is actually now our second colony, of which we have maximum affinity. If we look at the map of... no, not the map, the affinity chart. We now have colony 30 at 5 stars. And also, we have colony 0 at 5 stars. Who'd have thought that in order to get... all the way to Sagiri's hero ascension, we'd need to get 5 star affinity. Actually, I think I got it a little after from some random Collectopedia cards, but you get the picture. And now, that is where we're going to leave things for this episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Please do, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and sub to the channel if you have not done so already. All three of those helped me out considerably. I know you're not required to, but... I appreciate every single like, comment, and sub you leave me. And now, with that all said and done... I hope you all are having a fantastic day as Whale Pod, but until next time, this is Captain Whale, signing off.